Yeah, I always liked mathematics. When I was this little, I always liked numbers. It always fascinated me. So when I was in primary school, I joined the competition called Mathematics Olympics. After a few years, I also got to know a field called Informatics Olympics. That's where we do algorithms and uh, computer science, basically. So that's how I got introduced to computer science. So after six years, when I was deciding for my college majors, it was not a problem to decide for mathematics and computer science. After I graduated from that, I found ETH, and I found this great program of computer science, which can allow me to do a lot of mathematics as well. So I said, why not? So here I am in computer science ETH. What I like most about computer science is that it has made so many impossible things possible. Mathematics can prove that something can be done is possible, but computer science is what makes impossible things possible. For example, 20 years ago, who would expect that we can search the internet by typing a few words within a blink of eyes? But now we're doing that. And 20 years ago, no one would say that we can take a panorama of a scene with just a single camera, with a small one. But right now we're doing that. So we're all doing that because of the inventions of computer science. A uh, computer science department in ETH is simply great. We have a lot of famous professors and uh, our peers are very competitive. But don't worry, this is a very lively environment and everyone helps each other. We have a lot of group works, we have a lot of fun together, we also have a lot of parties, of course. ETH offers me an opportunity to do a research that I propose. If ETH thinks this idea is cool, it's good, they will sponsor you to do your master's studies here. I have studied in China, in Hong Kong, and in the US before I came here. So what makes ETH different is that I think ETH pays really a lot of attention to their students and their individual interest. The school is giving out enormous support to everyone and their own interest. For example, earlier this year, I just went to the States for a conference, which I was really interested in, and ETH sponsored me that. So right now I'm working on two very interesting projects. The first one is a course project. Our goal is to program a cell phone camera, a small camera, to take good pictures in the dark. So for example, we have two images we'll take from the camera. The first one is a short one, which means it's sharp, but it's sort of dark. The second one is a longer exposure one, which means it's bright, but you may have shaky hands or you may have a lot of noise. So our goal is to include the information from both images and then combine them together to make a good picture of the dark environment. The second project we have is the excellent scholarship project I propose on myself. So in that project, we will look into the hyperlink structures of the internet, which means we'll look behind the hyperlink structures into the mathematics. The goal is that, for example, I have a bunch of websites and I want to boost up one website to the top of the search engine result. So with the methods we propose, we'll be able to do that from the mathematics. Life in Turkey is great. I mean, it's Europe. Of course it's great. Of course, when I came here, there was a little bit of language problem. Of course, I'm now trying to improve my German and Swiss German, even though I can only speak I speak Swiss Swiss But yeah, I'm trying my best. Finding a place to stay in Zurich is definitely not the easiest thing on the earth. However, with the ETH housing office, I found my place uh, before I came here. So they assigned me a room in a huge international student hostel. That was great. We have 170 people, all from international places. So people cook together, people eat together, people party together. My biggest hobby is photography. I got my first SLR camera two years ago after I saved enough money. So afterwards, I cannot stay away from my camera. But that is great for me because I also do research in computational photography. So the more time I spend on my pictures, the more intuition I have, inspiration I have for my research. So that's a great thing. So my goal is to make my pictures look nicer with my research. And I assume that other people will also have the same dream. So my research goal is just to make people's dream come true. So that's what inspires me to keep on my hobby and also to keep on my studies in computer science. So here are some photos from my life, from my work, and from my traveling. 
The first one is what I do research with. It's a great camera, and we do that with these cameras. So that really gives me a lot of interest because I can play with super good cameras. And this one is Paris. Of course, you have to go there if you're in Europe. That's, you have to go. Then this one, just some leaves because it's beautiful, it's autumn. European autumn is very colorful and beautiful. You have to see it here. And of course, this is our beautiful Zurich. If you're here, you can see the sunset from ETH, Polyterras, and you will see the Zurich city like this. Gorgeous. After I graduate, I want to work for industrial research because that is a way where I can get my result published and also go out to the market to benefit the general population. My camera is already two years old, so I'm hoping that maybe my next camera will have some research results of myself. That'll be great.